Off. Yes, sir. If there's anything here, we're gonna find it. When's the last time this thing was serviced? This is rusty. Don't get distracted, Mendez. What are we looking for here? Anything that moves. Anything that doesn't. They still didn't find that relic. I'd love to be the guy that does. Not me. Why not? You'd be a hero. I'll be dead, more likely. No thanks. I'll keep sitting here looking for hostiles. Less talking, more looking, gentlemen. Get off your... It's quiet. What's your team doing? I'll check. We're not paying them to sightsee. We'll have to go under. Yeah. We know there's a new temple. What we're looking for is any smaller ruins we might have missed before. Okay. It's really wedged in there. I'm afraid if we move it, we'll lose it. We're gonna have to reinforce the bridge. We talked about it. Why didn't you test the bridge like I told you? Oh, I'm pretty sure we did test the bridge first. Fuck off. I'm not covering for you. Maybe we can pull it out. Okay, maybe. Let me think about that. We can take them. Left. I'll take these guys. What in God? Hide. Dave, Sammy. I told them to test the bridge first. Son of a. Dave, Dave. No, you don't! <laughs> Healing. I might have liked it better when I was injured. Oh, I know. I'm just trying not to think about my back. You know, my grandmother survived a tsunami in the 60s. What happened? She lost friends. Her family lost their business. Good after that. She could feel things coming. Volcanic eruptions, storms. That did it. Nice. Come on, let's go. Any idea what the twins in that riddle are? Could be anything. A pair of monuments or mountains or streams. I suppose we'll know it when we see it. Yeah. I see people down there. Hope they're friendly. I'll let you do the talking. <sighs> Hi. Do you know if there's a place nearby we can stay for the night? How'd you get so deep into the jungle? Did you lose your tour group or something? <sighs> no. There were some guys here before, looking for artifacts. You with them? Trinity. Definitely not. 
Uh, I need a break anyway. Come with me. Oh. I'm sorry to ask so many questions, but the only B&B in town is my place. Well, you can't be too careful. By the way, I'm Jonah. Abby, Lara. Come in, have a seat. Carlos, three. So, what are you here for exactly? Well, we were following the riddle when our plane went down. You mean it crashed? Yeah. <laughs> and you just walked out of the crash? Uh, well, you know, it was cruising pretty low. We are looking for Maya ruins. Maya, you know you're in Peru, right? Yes. Yeah, long story. Oh. Thanks. Well, you don't seem like a typical archaeologist. Oh, she's the archaeologist. I'm, I'm just a cook. Really? Yeah. Have you tried any of our local ceviche yet? It's a specialty. <laughs> Not unless it grows in the jungle. No, don't tell me you missed our famous fish trees. <laughs> Where did you take this? Um, Mexico. Why? No, oh, I've seen this symbol before. Wow. There are some ruins nearby, and a small rock with something like this carved on it. Do you mind if I take a look around? Oh, be my guest, but I guarantee they're not Mayan. My people were Inca and proud of it. Oh, uh, uh, why don't you rest for a while? Are you sure? I promised you a day off. Well, I'm not gonna say no to that. Have fun. You too. <laughs> you and Lara. Friends. Colleagues. She's brilliant. Hmm. So, you're not. Oh. <laughs> Nothing like that. No, I'm, uh. Single. Interesting. So you said you were a doctor? No, not me. My ancestors. New here, eh? Get used to doing a lot of nothing. Although drinking and sweating helps to break up the day. You're not a local? No, I work a ship that blew into some rocks just outside town. Storm came out of nowhere, sunk the damn thing. You want to make a deal? Huh. Ah, hello. Are you here with the excavation team? No, just passing through. Okay. If you need anything, the market's in the middle of town. You can resupply before you move on. Thank you. My pleasure. Two years have been working up to never to ask her out. I finally do. And now, who is that guy anyway? Remember, honey. 
Hey, you want to know your way around Kuakiaku? Just ask me. Are you the local tour guide? Hmm. I know where to go, and who to steer you clear of. I see. Best fish is on the dock, obviously. Tacos are best at El Licor de Cerdo, but his beer is piss warm. <laughs> I'll watch out for that. Oh, and Omar, stay away from that guy. You don't need his kind of trouble. Thinks he can just come to town and take what he wants. Right. Well, I'll be sure to keep an eye out for trouble. <laughs> keep them both open. Thank God. The storm barely affected the village. The epicenter was closer to the plane. But it could have been much worse. What have I done? What if the earthquake hits here? Hundreds of people will die. I need to find a way to stop it. Full up. Can't carry any more. Ah, the engine shit the bed. Have you seen my husband or my daughter? I don't think so. Where did you last see them? They spend their nights with the stars, sparkling and waving at me. But in the morning, they travel to the river. Oh. I usually see them shining there. But the storm muddled the waters. I know they're down there. I know they are. Bet you've never seen anything like this, huh? This is my last one. Sold the rest to that commander fella. He was a little intense. But hey, he bought all my stock, didn't he? Well, except this one. Runs smooth, never breaks down. It's a real beaut, isn't it? Oh, uh, well... No, I'm serious. My wife here, she hasn't been the same since the accident. But the gentle hum it helps her relax. I'm glad. There used to be a temple on the island over there. But all that's left is a couple crumbled walls. And one stone pillar, it looks like. That's more a statue than a pillar. Real intricate work. A college professor came out to study it a few years ago. Did he tell you what he learned? He said it didn't make any sense. Was pretty angry about it, too. Said we tried to trick him or something. I'm sorry, do I know you? Sorry, I didn't realize this was a private residence. <laughs> Gosh, we lost a lot, but I didn't realize it was that bad. I really didn't mean to. I know you didn't. But if you'll excuse us, we have a lot of work to do. Lord, thank you for that. Please help us move. 
beyond the hurdles that put us up and give us the strength and wisdom to look up and see that we can run Continue to restrict the distribution of supplies. When we come through the area, it's better for everyone if your people are more concerned with their next meal or their child's fever, rather than with what's happening outside the village. As promised, once our investigation in the area is complete, we will provide monthly rations equal to double what you currently receive from care for 24 months, provided you keep up your end of the bargain. Cordially, Estela Diaz. Director of Community Outreach Programs, Order of Trinity. The jungle takes what it wants. Hard to get it to give up its secrets, but I found one, I think. You have? The village has many layers. You peel one back and find another, and another. It does seem to have quite the history. Sometimes I wonder if it hasn't been here in one way or another since the beginning of time. You seem different than the others. Which others? All of them. Men looking for oil, gold, taking whatever they can. Looks like this is Abby's family tree. Her family has lived in this village for hundreds of years, and it seems as though she's somehow related to most of the villagers. I've been doing some research and I think we might be able to set ourselves up with a homemade refinery. It's going to be a lot of work though and I can't do it alone. We'll need to build an oil tank, 1,000 litre capacity. The hull of the ship sunk in the river could be used for the tank. Any volunteers for a salvage mission? We'll need to set up a system to collect the crude. Who wants to be in charge of the bucket brigade? Once we get these things set up, we should be able to make diesel, kerosene, and petrol. Enough to fly the planes and eventually maybe even turn a profit. I know it sounds silly given everything that's happened, but I'd really like to Otra tormenta como la última y el río se llevará toda la aldea. Omar, uh -huh. they've been working all night. And? Isn't that what they're paid for? Get lost. It's on Shit, no. Now fuck off and let me watch the damn game. What is that? space for that. Miss Ortiz, your dedication and commitment to the village of Kwakyaku is commendable. However, Paul Veneer does not accept your charges of responsibility for the terrible state of the village. In fact, the board of executives has decided, and your local government representative agrees, if you continue this crusade of slandering our good name, we will have no choice but to take legal action from the office of Roberto Lavia, Chief Executive Officer, Paul Venere.
This is a promotional model of an oil derrick made out of cheap plastic and copper. There is a logo for a company called Paul Veneer on the base of it. This is a little bit unusual. It shows herds of sheep, llamas, and goats. But one farmer wouldn't usually tend three distinct herds like this. That one llama, alone on the hill. That must be Urquichile, the Incan god who watches over animals. Urquichile was often depicted as a llama. This is a dedication from all the local herders to the one who protects their flocks, thanking Urquichile for the preservation of their livelihood. New here? You should talk to Abigail. She insists on meeting all the newcomers. You mean Abby? We've met. She's been very helpful. Ah, that's our Abigail. Always ready to fix a generator or stop an argument. She's our de facto mayor, unofficial general store owner, half of the volunteer fire department. And trust me, you don't want to get into a fist fight with her. I wonder how she gets all that on her business card. Uh... Okay, well, um, uh, good luck with everything. I don't know how they can gossip so cheerfully when we've lost so much. I'm sorry. Wait, you're not Mariela. No, I'm just, uh, so sorry to bother you. This is the story of local caverns rumored to be haunted. Ghostly noises coming from deep within the bowels of the earth. No one who's entered the caves has ever returned. Mysterious sounds. Something between the booming of thunder and the howling of dogs, and a mysterious light glowing within. Miss Ortiz, thank you for your recent inquiry. A water quality index, WQI, was calculated for river sites surrounding the village of Kawakyaku from the samples you provided, and results have shown that the river sites should be classified as bad water quality. 
The results of this study have shown large-scale impacts that include siltation, chemical pollution, and heavy metal pollution. Turbidity and total solids exceeded the environmental limits. Water of high turbidity, hazy, murky water, cannot be used as potable water, and the high total solids also imply that it cannot be used as irrigation water as well, as this will damage infrastructure. It is most likely that any subsistence fishing that took place before is no longer possible at the affected river sites, thereby impacting negatively on people's livelihoods. Similarly, pH was in the high alkaline range as well as COD. These parameters were indicative of some chemical pollution in the river. The pH, that is alkaline, hard water, is corrosive and can damage plumbing equipment and clothes. High levels of fluoride in the water poses the risk of diseases such as dental and skeletal fluorosis. The presence of pathogenic bacteria such as salmonella also represents an immediate health risk for the local community. I don't have enough space for that. Haven't seen you around here before. I just got in, but I won't be staying long. <laughs> Don't let how it looks fool you. This is a good place. Difficult, but good. Your garden seems to have survived the storm. Hmm. Luck and hard work. A lot of people pitched in to grow it. So they all came to protect it, too. 